Hello, hello, and welcome to the Ultimate Tarot Guide Tutorials. These episodes are going to take a look at each tarot card, going over the correspondences for each card found in my book, The Ultimate Tarot Guide for Your Personal Tarot Journey. This book is available at Amazon in print and Kindle. This book takes you on an inspirational, magical journey into the realm of tarot. We're going to leave traditionalism and mediocrity behind. We're also going to open doors and expand horizons to reveal amazing connections with the tarot and its intimate influence on our world. As you make your way through this tarot study, you will develop a very unique and personal connection with the tarot and a deeper understanding of yourself. The deck I will be using throughout this tarot study guide is Vintage Tarot. I recommend that any deck you use be closely associated with the traditional Rider White deck with the major arcanas and suits found therein. So, with that said, grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair. We're going to sit around the table and explore each tarot card. We're going to explore intuitive reading and we're going to learn how to tap into our intuitive side and listen to our clairs. And we'll pull more from a tarot card than you ever thought possible. With that said, off we go. This is episode 12 and our card today is the Knight of Cups. Just a quick overview here. The astrological sign is Scorpio. The element is water. Key words are loyal, endearing, sexual, promiscuous, romantic, sensitive, emotional, unreasonable, cloying, anxious, petulant, intuitive, conniving, fragile, creative, introspective, shady, borderline. And there you go. I, I have written a phrase before which kind of sums up the Knight of Cups. It is the immature narcissist. <laughs> and that's not all of these knights, you know. Um, some of these knights, the, the lighter side will show through for some rather than the darker side. It's just when you meet the dark ones, you have to be able to recognize them. <laughs> so this knight in his in his darker state. Um, he can be very sneaky and sly. Uh, his morals are a little iffy. Sometimes at the most extreme form, he can be a sexual predator. Um, he can be one of those individuals who uses people, uses people for a place to live or uses people to advance himself materially or monetarily some way. Um, the dark side of this night is that he can find a target, someone with something he needs or things he wants, and he can work that target and be manipulative enough to get what he wants. The light side of this of this night is, of course, the knight in shining armor the archetype, the uh, beautiful, loving loyal suitor who wants to give you his heart and to um, unfold a life ahead of you um, forever and ever like a fairy tale ending. He's extremely charming. He can be at his best truly irresistible. A lot of these knights are usually good looking and and um, and even even the average looking Knight of Cups, there's something about their aura that they can give the impression of being extremely good looking, even if they aren't. There's just such a charm about them. This knight can also be the, the infamous knight who leaves a trail of broken hearts. His negative side, um, if the narcissist and the negative side of this knight uh, dominates, it's like he will go through possible mates because he is looking for something that I, I can't even use the word idealism here it's like uh, the dark the dark knight will want to be able to have someone he can manipulate and control so he will leave a wake of broken hearts if he goes if he's if he meets people that he can't quite accomplish this with he might 
hook up with someone to see how far he can get, how far he can control them, how much he can manipulate them. But if he runs into a strong person who resists this, he will drop them and go on to the next target. So that's something to watch for with this knight. But at his best, at his best, this knight is like every Prince Charming in every Disney fairy tale that we have ever seen. So this knight has got his his two faces are so extraordinarily opposite. But we have to remember that those are extremes. And somewhere in the middle lies a, a human being of, let's say, in the more gray, more conventional areas. But you should be aware of his extremes, not only... Well, I'm aware of his extremes because I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating psychologically to me as I view all of the court cards as psychological archetypes, which is actually what they are, psychological profiles. So that is my reasoning for being very interested in this um, oxymoron and this character. Okay, let's get our tarot journals out and let me look at this guy. Um, there is just on my card, the color that's popping out all over for me, it's just white. Uh, the background is white, the land is white, the horse is white. The only thing with color on here is the knight himself, his saddle, his cup, and a tiny stream. So white, 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 white. Um, to me, that's telling me right in this moment, and this is what I'm putting in my tarot journal, there's a moment of purity with this knight. There is a knight of cups out there somewhere who is with the purest of intentions going to approach someone with a loving cup and um, offer himself as a, as a partner. And so... Hmm, I just, I love when these things pop up, and that's what's going in my tarot journal. So what else? Uh, uh, the, the way this knight is seated and how his um, horse, which is not still and it's not racing off, it's like in a very, caught in a very high step, a high dignified step, and he's holding his cup out fully, fully extended, and, and he's going towards someone with with just... He's going to offer everything he has to someone in the purest form and in a very dignified manner. There's a very dignified feeling. For some reason, um, also what's popping out at me, on the top of his helmet are wings that look like the wings that you see on the god Mercury's helmet. And that is something that I associate with communication. With that said, I am delighted to have introduced you to the Knight of Cups today. He is a fascinating character, and you're going to want to study your card over and over and over again. There's so much more to this knight. And until the next time, and until the next video, bye-bye.